Hi everyone and welcome along. I am a real advocate for the therapeutic qualities of painting in watercolour and how good it can make you feel. So I'm really happy today that our video is sponsored by BetterHelp, H-E-L-P. Uh, with that in mind, I'm going to paint uh, one of my happy places and that is some lovely watercolour beach huts on the seaside. So grab your paints and let's get started. Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an online platform that offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you. Now, as a watercolour artist, I'm always very keen to remind you of the benefits to your mental health when you have a therapeutic, relaxing practice such as painting. But I think sometimes we need a little bit more help and this is where uh, better help comes in I'm just so thrilled that they are sponsoring us because I, I just really am very excited to tell you all about them um, I personally have been definitely more aware of the fragility of my mental health since sort of re-emerging from from lockdowns the pandemic the past two years I've found social uh, settings and large groups or places like cinemas extremely challenging and it's been so helpful to be able to talk about this and, and work through how to get back to enjoying the things I used to love. So BetterHelp, it, they have a broad range of expertise. Um, giving you help that might not be available in your area and you just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs and then you get matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. So I'm really thrilled that I can offer you 10% off your first month at BetterHelp by clicking the link in the episode notes and helping you get the help you need with a qualified therapist at BetterHelp. So thanks BetterHelp for sponsoring today and we're going to paint a lovely escapist relaxing scene of some beach huts so we can all dream of our summer holidays. So I've drawn two horizontal parallel lines and then using my set square I'm going to mark out and draw up some vertical lines. I'm going to do three beach huts Okay, and then finding that central point, we can then do a little pitched roof like that. So now I'm just sort of doing it by eye. I feel like after you've got the, the initial structure correct, you can probably judge these things. So there we have three happy little beach huts. Um, if you aren't uh, familiar with these, um, in the UK, what's very sweet is at our beaches, you can either rent or I think you can buy actually. These, they're basically like glorified garden sheds, um, but it's just handy to have a little place to sort of hang out at the beach if you're going to be there all day with the family. Um, and they've become really iconic British seaside staples so I'm just adding a little extra level of roof there um, we'll give each one a door just a little rectangular door and then we're just going to paint them up to be nice little characterful huts um, that are just kind of fun to paint uh, repetitively and and give them different characteristics and yeah it's kind of fun, rather nice for a bit of card card making, I think, actually, for maybe summer holidays and things. So we've got done the doors slightly different. I'm going to do this one with a with a curved top. This one that's a bit off centre. We'll make this quite a wide door, maybe a double door. And this one can just be a fairly regular door like that. Like I say, whenever I'm doing tutorials on here I like to teach the absolute bare minimum for paint uh, for drawing and then it's all about the painting um, I think it'd be fun to give them all a little flag of course the winds blowing in the same direction so see and it's just at moments like that you suddenly realize oh we can give them all a little bit of character um, so we're going to have uh, a little top window 
arched in the same way. For this one we'll have a sort of life ring, I think, which might also be a porthole, let's see. We'll make it a, a lifeboat ring and this one can have a little rectangular window. Fun, okay. So we've done all our drawing now and now it's really, if you're at home drawing this, you'd rub out the pencil just ever so lightly um, so that you're left with the faint line of the drawing. I will maintain my pencil uh, for the sake of filming so it doesn't all go disappear. Um, but yes, you want to rub out your pencil really faintly so you've just got the faint outline. Okay, I've brought down my palette a bit so you can see some of the colours. I've decided I'm going to use Permanent Rose as a key colour, Hooker's Green because it's lovely and bright, and Cobalt Blue Deep. So, this is this is a bit of a fun free-for-all to be honest, because I felt like doing a a tutorial that was based around just enjoyment of painting was very on brand with our sponsor BetterHelp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin with a size zero brush and I'm going to paint some horizontal stripes on my beach huts. Now I've started off using that little horizontal line we had right at the beginning but other than that, I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to be enforcing a really strict scheme because what I love about whimsical little drawings such as these is they're better when you just sort of relax into it a little bit. So what I'm doing is I'm painting these stripes. Obviously the door is coming up, so I'm gonna to have to start painting around the door. Um, painting these little stripes with tiny bits of unpainted space in between um, and that just allows for the sense of the beachy wooden slatted front to the beach hut. And I'm painting in quite a dilute pink. which. Not only is just rather nice sort of like a sorbet shade colour, but it's also uh, going to allow us to paint details over the top once it has dried. So we've got three different approaches to the same stripe technique we were doing there. With this one I just variated the thickness of the stripe and with this one I just left larger gaps. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint each one using the single colour um, and I'm just using different concentrations of the colour. So with the pink here we, we worked quite dilute and now I'm going to paint in the roof outline in a concentrated outline there. And I really love doing projects like this because it's very satisfying when you can get all these different tones out of a single colour because you know that it's going to look really nice because you're not having to worry about colour palettes. I know a lot of people are a bit intimidated by colour. Whereas actually, sometimes all you need to do is just stick with the one colour. Right now, outlining the window. I'm gonna outline the door and then we'll come up with some fun details. Now all the outlines are in and you can see the amazing contrast of the colour when it's more concentrated. Um, I'm going to now paint in ooh, a slightly wobbly inner door frame. And I I'm going to now use my size zero brush to get some of those nice planks in again. Um, and I'm gonna do them vertically this time. Just 
really important to keep your paint nice and dilute. Lovely. And um, I think what might be quite nice on this one is to have a little string of bunting across the front. So we can just do all these kinds of details very easily over the top because we painted in a nice translucent and diluted colour for the slats originally. Maybe this is a stripy flag. Very satisfying. And then I think what might be fun is a tiny little vase of flowers in the window. That is very small, but it does the job. And we'll do a little door handle just there. So that's our pink one. Let's move on to the green one. So I've done a little extra outlining on the door frame. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, with my four tenths brush, my very little brush, I'm going to paint in horizontal slats on the door. Just got to keep your brush nice and wet for this. And then we also need to look at the life ring up above. Um, which even though that would technically be a red and white thing I'm sticking with my colour theme so I'm going to just keep it as the green So I'm just filling in the top and the sides and the bottom. And then just a little bit of rope. the edges of it. We'll carry on with that door but also our flag might just fill that one in entirely. And finally for our blue door, here's the blue, um, we'll do first do a little window pane. So painting unpainted space with these simple little illustrations you can really create some lovely details without having to sort of do too much work. 
which is what I love about watercolour. I think we'll put a diamond window in this door. And we'll just leave the door plain, but we'll put a little door knocker in there. Little handles there. So yeah, it's just a bit of fun this. And that is what watercolour should be all about really. An enjoyment of a bit of fluff on the brush. The general enjoyment of creating. I quite like finding other little places to add a detail here or there. Because the nice thing about these little beach huts is once you've learned how to draw them, you could just paint rows and rows and rows of these things. And they'd make lovely cards, maybe a lovely little present for someone. Or if you actually own or rent a regular beach hut, why don't you actually do a painting of your actual beach hut? That would be fun, wouldn't it? Anyway, there we have a lovely, relaxing little painting of a lovely place where we'd all like to go. I want to say another thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring the video. And don't forget, uh, you can get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp by clicking the link in the episode notes. Thanks so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed that. And don't forget to prioritise your mental health with BetterHelp. You can get 10% off your first month of therapy by clicking the link in the episode notes. Thanks so much for watching and if you never want to miss another video, just hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell and we'll see you again next time. Bye!